Hey guys, what's going on? It's Gail right here, back on the 59 channel with some massive, massive, massive news for the Dragon Ball franchise as a whole. Um, we have this official, or well, potentially official website coming soon. Uh, it's not yet fully set up. There's the privacy poly, uh, there's a privacy uh, policy page set up in French, English as well. If you look over here, they have this English privacy policy page set up and all that. It's in a beta format. If you click on something, it doesn't really take you anywhere it kind of locks you off but this is absolutely massive as this is going to be providing news about manga anime goodies and more in multiple languages so this whole thing that we're seeing with this Dragon Ball official site from what it seems like is going to be this new hub for Dragon Ball as a whole in the west which is huge because we know how popular Dragon Ball is all across the across the world you know and yet we don't have this hub or website like for example pokemon has an amazing website it's a bit it's a bit iffy the pokemon website but we have one for the pokemon website where we can access the trading card games the mainline series so on and so forth it's a it's a hub there right and similarly we don't have one for or uh, similarly, I should say, we don't have one for Dragon Ball at all. And this is the first time we're hearing news of a potential website coming for the Dragon Ball franchise. And it seems to be something where we can access, like like the tweet mentions from Dragon Ball Super Hype. Big, by the way, big shout out to Dragon Ball Super Hype and credits to Saikyo Devin for being able to find this in the first place. It seems like we're finally getting that massive hub to propulse or propel i should say not propulse propel dragon ball further and further into the eyesight of fans as well and that's massive um especially if they want to sell the manga more in the west if they want to sell the figures and um games movies the anime as well which i'll come on to in just a second this is huge i've been personally uh ever since i was a kid you know i loved exploring the internet and you know uh, finding these hubs for like Pokemon. That's where I discovered the trading card game online app for Pokemon, you know, and multiple other websites such as this. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! used to have one or there was something with Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. I could be misremembering and I'm confusing it with another franchise. But there were hubs like this and Dragon Ball not having a hub like this was always disappointing to me because it would be amazing to just admire and just stare in wonder when, I, you know, 10-year-old, 11-year-old me accessing the Dragon Ball website it would be massive obviously now that that's the case and we're getting this hub the question arises why now there's nothing coming out in the near future that we know of of course they have this dragon ball battle hour thing that they're doing on the march of i think it is the march uh 6th uh 2021 that they're doing for fighters the dragon ball super card game and dragon ball legends but there's nothing else coming out that we know of well what if they're bringing back the anime? We know that they're rerunning the episodes in February and it's all the old episodes, but does that mean they're setting it up to premiere the new anime maybe down the line? Does that mean it's going to be coming back? Well, personally, I think that is a very high chance that that might be the case in the format of a movie or in the format of an anime. I do believe we should be getting some news relatively shortly. I think I'd like to think in a couple of uh, months, maybe we should get it. Maybe after the Dragon Ball Battle Hour thing in March, we might get some final official information about when it should be coming back. But I think this is definitely setting up to be something of a massive expansion into the West and just across the globe in general, because this is available in Japanese, English, French, Deutsch and Espanol. So you are able to view it in at least five different languages. So I'm pretty sure this is definitely just to make sure everybody has access to it. And this definitely indicates something greater than what is just the potential of maybe a new game or something like that. There is something that they're planning and I'm looking forward to seeing what they have on offer. Um, of course, our very own Five Nines Goresh did mention something about it as well. He says it's a cool little site, nothing too crazy, but we'll have to see what happens with it. Uh, the fact that they're providing information in multiple languages is the most interesting to me. Uh, five to ten years ago, this would have probably been available in Japanese only. And that's the whole point I'm trying to make here as well, is that the way they've uh, set up everything, you know, in terms of the... Uh, website, the amount of languages, and the way they're saying home news highlights and, you know, spreading the news of the manga, anime, games, movie slash anime. 
I, you know, it does seem to be like that they're setting up for something massive, as I said. Uh, but yeah, that's all from us in terms of this news. Let us know down in the comments below. What do you guys believe this will be? Do you think the anime is finally coming back with this information? Do you think that uh, the this is just some form of like way to sell the franchise before, you know, or uh, for the time being until the anime comes back and isn't really necessarily anything huge? Let us know down in the comments below. Um, of course, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. We will be doing more on the channel like this for other shows as well as Dragon Ball. Um, it's been Gail right here. Our socials will be in the uh, description down below if you want to check out our Twitch, Twitter, uh, Reddit, so on and so forth. Once again, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out.